Following the success of the Galaxy S6 Edge, Samsung's now have come out with the Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, basically a blown up version of the S6 Edge. So in this video, let's take a closer look at both, see what's changed, what's not different. Hey guys, Ash here from C4A Tech and you're watching a quick comparison of the Galaxy S6 Edge versus the S6 Edge Plus. Let's get started. Like I said, the S6 Edge Plus looks like a blown up S6 Edge. The Edge Plus sports a larger 5.7 inch display, so it's taller, wider, but ever so slightly slimmer than the S6 Edge. It sports a larger 3000mAh battery as well compared to the 2600mAh battery on the S6 Edge. So it's understandably heavier at about 150 grams. Talking about the battery, there's still support for fast charging and wireless charging built in. With regards to hardware placements, there are a few changes though. The position of the microphones changed and the IR blaster has now been removed on the S6 Edge Plus. Additionally, the angle of the metal to the sides is a little steeper this time around and that helps with ergonomics. But barring these, the Edge Plus still feels like the S6 Edge, just bigger. And that holds true when it comes to the internals as well. Both the S6 Edge and the S6 Edge Plus are powered by the 64-bit Exynos 7420 chip. With 4 Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 1.5GHz each, 4 Cortex-A57 cores clocked at 2.1GHz each, coupled with a Mali T760 MP8 GPU. The Edge Plus has an extra gig of RAM though, 4 gigs compared to the 3 on the S6 Edge. It's worth noting that the speaker on the S6 Edge Plus is a little louder as well, a little better. This seems to be a trend, cause again, with regards to the display, the display on the S6 Edge Plus is marginally brighter. It's still a Quad HD Super AMOLED display. Now that it's spread over 5.7 inches, up from 5.1 on the S6 Edge, the pixel density is a little lower. But both displays are still sharp, and in typical AMOLED fashion, the colors are vivid, blacks are deep, viewing angles are great, and like I said, the S6 Edge Plus does seem a little brighter. The Edge Plus also retains the same camera as the S6 Edge, f by 1.9 aperture, 16 megapixel rear with OIS, 5 megapixel front, the Edge Plus has a few new software tricks though. For starters, the Pro Mode now has an option to control shutter speed. There's also an option to shoot raw images. And finally, the Edge Plus lets you broadcast live from the camera app. Keep in mind, these are software features that should eventually make their way over to the S6 Edge. That being said, let's now move on to the software. Both phones run on Android 5.1 Lollipop with Samsung's latest TouchWiz UI on top. There are two minor differences here. First, with the S6 Edge Plus, you can now triple press the home key to activate single-handed mode. This helps with single-handed usage. Next up, there's an Apps Edge option. With the S6 Edge, you can swipe from the edge of the display to bring up your favorite contacts. Now with the Edge Plus, you can do that and also access your favorite apps. There's also an option that lets you choose where on the edge you swipe in from. Again, just like with the camera, these features should also find their way over to the S6 Edge via a future over-the-air update. Barring these, the performance is quite similar with both phones. Fast, fluid, both do have some memory management issues that Samsung should hopefully sort out soon. So when it comes right down to it, what you see is what you get with the S6 Edge Plus. A blown up S6 Edge that's ever so marginally better than its predecessor. If you do already own an S6 Edge, the Edge Plus doesn't really bring anything new to the table. Actually, you end up losing the air blaster. If you're trying to choose between both, then the deal breaker is going to be the display size. If you like a larger display, go with the H+. Else save a bit of money and go with the S6 Edge given that it's cheaper and you aren't really losing out on anything. Anyway, these are just my two cents. Do you agree? What do you think? Sound off in the comments below. So with that, we get to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, please subscribe. If you do want to pick up either of these phones, I'll leave direct links in the description below. Use them if you do want to help the channel out. And I guess that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4E Tech, signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.